Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Banktree Personal Finance, version 3. In this tutorial, I will talk to you about entering scheduled items. If you have not seen the previous tutorials about entering transactions, then it would be a good idea to go through that first, as it gives you some familiarity with the software. Scheduled items are recurring transactions, which are added to your account on a regular basis. These transactions are added to the account automatically, or by the user immediately if required. New scheduled items for cash accounts can be created in two ways. Either from an existing transaction or by creating a new scheduled item. For investments, you cannot create a new schedule item directly. You can do this from an existing investment cash transaction. To create a new scheduled item, go to the Schedule tab and click on the peach coloured row, which is your entry row. This can be on the top or the bottom of the schedule register. Select the date. It must be after today's date. Select the frequency. This is how often the schedule item will run for. This can be set from daily to yearly. Select times. This is the number of occurrences. If this is left at zero, then the system will understand this as open or open-ended, meaning the schedule is perpetual and does not finish. If there are a fixed number of occurrences, such as monthly payments over 10 months of the year, you would set this value to 10. As each month elapses, the times value will be updated to the remaining occurrences, 9, 8, etc., until it is set to ended, where no more occurrences will be shown. You can set the payee as you did when entering account transactions selecting an existing payee or adding a new one. For categories, you can add a new category, add a split category, select an existing category, or even select an account transfer, as you did with the account transaction. Set the payment type and enter the value for either paid in or paid out. In this instance, it's a paid out amount and then a click save. As the scheduled item is created, it is not added to the account immediately. To add the scheduled transaction, edit the schedule or right click on the scheduled item and then select Enter in account now. The schedule will then be added to the account register and the date is amended to the next payment date. The times value will also adjust with the number of occurrences remaining. When the transaction is created in the account register for a normal or investment cash transaction, it will be shown with the schedule icon. However, for a split transaction or transfer, it will retain the split or transfer icon. The automated schedule update runs on a daily basis. The first time you open the Banktree Personal Finance application, this will perform the same function as the schedule option. Enter in account now. It will create all the schedule transactions that are due for all your accounts. To skip a scheduled payment, you need to select the schedule items you want to skip. You can then right click or click on the edit schedule button and select the menu item, skip this payment. The scheduled date will then be amended to the next payment date based on the frequency, the number of payments reduced without adding any schedules to the account register. To move a scheduled item from one account to another, select the Move to Account, selecting the account to move to.
When you delete a scheduled item, all the existing scheduled transaction in the account register are kept. However, if they previously displayed the calendar icon, they will now be shown as normal transactions. If you wish to amend a scheduled item, you can do that. Amend any of the details and click on the Save button. Any amendments will only be used for new scheduled transactions and not previous ones. To create a scheduled item for an existing scheduled transaction, go to the account register and select an item you want to make into a recurring transaction. Edit the transaction or right click and go to Make Recurring. The scheduled item is then created with some default values. The date is set to today's date and can be amended to any date after today's date. Frequency is set to monthly and the times is set to open. If you have a direct debit where the first payment is different to the rest of the payments, you would need to set it up in this manner. The first transaction is a normal transaction and the transactions that have a recurring fixed amount are created when the scheduled transactions are created. If you have a variable scheduled item which changes each month, you would set the paid in amount to zero and save the schedule. After the scheduled transaction is added to the account, you would amend the amount to the correct value. If we now have a look at the investment linked account or the investment cash account, we can see how investments are treated with regards to schedules. You will notice I don't have any investment transactions, so I will create an investment transaction to start with. So I will buy some shares just to get the details into the investment register and to see how this would be treated. So I've now added an investment transaction. I can go to the investment cash account for this transaction. We right click and go to make recurring. We see the investment cash schedule item has been added to the schedule register and it seems to look like a normal scheduled item. However, when we edit it, we have further options available. i.e. quantity, price, commission and total. Amending the entries will vary depending on the type of investment transaction. Having added scheduled items, we can now start to look at the benefits in forecasting our account balance and projections. Click on the Reminders tab. It lists all the scheduled transactions that are due up to the end of 30 days. This rolls from the current day. It shows all income and expense schedules. It also gives me a running balance, which is extended from my account register, where my ending balance will be at the end of 30 days. I can also customise how far in advance I want to see my finances. If I run any of the reports, take for example the account summary report, the default view is for the current year, but it is only showing me live transactions. It is not showing me predicted balances. To show my predicted balance based on my schedule, I click on the customize button and set the time span to generate forecast. I then get the opportunity to set the start and end dates. I'm going to set this to the end of the year. When I now run the report, it shows the balance to the end of the year. This is my forecasted balance. This applies to all reports and is especially useful for the annual budget report, where it will show the budget and the expected spend over the whole year. In this example, it is showing my wages over the year, what my budget value would be and what my actual value is. It is also showing shopping and totals, which are useful. I hope you have enjoyed the Banktree tutorial on schedules. This is the end of the tutorial. 
Bye for now.